Welcome to Frickers for this warm-up presented by Mercer Landmark. I'm Mark Kuntz. Andy Lynch will be with us momentarily as we're talking Parkway Panthers football, starting with head coach Dan Carnes. And coach, you guys coming off your first scrimmage of the season last mm -hmm. night, uh, taking on Fairview. And certainly as opposed to a year ago where you had some injuries, everybody came through health-wise, and you're feeling pretty good after that first scrimmage. Yeah, uh, after, after the first scrimmage came out of it healthy, which is always big plus, um, felt a lot better about our scrimmage this year than we did a year ago. A year ago, um, you know, we had some question marks, but overall I thought our defense played very, you know, very well. It was pretty strong. Offensively, we were able to move the ball with pretty much any group that we put in. So we walked away from the scrimmage healthy and feeling pretty good about ourselves. Coming off a 1-9 campaign, beat New Bremen last year. Is there some positives to build off of last year's campaign? Did you guys gain some experience that's going to pay off this year? Uh, well, we've got about half our skill guys back from a year ago. Um, I think probably the, the big thing for us is our backfield um, with the guys that we've got coming back in the backfield at quarterback and at running back. Um, we feel that's going to be real strength for us. We really are emphasizing running the ball this year uh, in the, in the uh, preseason, and we hope to do that as the season continues. So um, for us, that, that should be a big plus. What's the offensive line looking like? Do you, do you feel comfortable running the ball? Do you have some big guys yeah, up front? Um, we're, we're actually very young, and I, I guess you would say inexperienced, but I also feel um, that in the five years I've been here, this is the strongest offensive line that we've had. Um, a lot of juniors up there. I think we've got one senior on the offensive line, but uh, or two seniors, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. two seniors on the offensive line, but um, pretty strong group overall. We've got a little bit of depth there and uh, really feel like our offensive line coach, Jason Henline, has made a huge impact coming back this year and uh, really has, you know, the offensive line going in the right direction. They're playing with a lot of confidence. They have a little bit of swagger, and, you know, games are won and lost on the line of scrimmage. Most of those linemen going both ways for you? A uh, couple are going both ways. Um, you know, we've got to, you know, in, our, in a perfect world, we're going to have everybody playing one way, and uh, we're waiting for a couple guys to step up. But right now we've got a couple guys playing two ways, but I'm um, hoping by the time the season starts we've got everyone going one way and keeping everybody fresh. Defensively, what can we expect from the Panthers? Uh, we're going to be in a 4-3 defense, um, similar to what we've done in the past. Um, we feel that we're the most versatile with, out of the 4-3 to, to cover all the different aspects that you know we're going to see in, in terms of our, our league and our non-league games. A um, lot of uh, two, two safeties, uh, three backers, and um, you know we're going to move around. We also will jump into a little bit of 50 just to give teams a different look as well. You look at the MAC. Obviously, we know how good the top of the league is. When you're one of the teams that's been in the bottom the last couple of years, do you take some motivation from what Fort Recovery was able to do last year? They kind of came out of nowhere and surprised some folks contended for the league, made the postseason. Are, are you guys in the, the New Bremens of the world kind of looking at Fort Recovery and sh holding Fort Recovery up to your guys, saying, "Hey, they can do it. There's no reason why we can't um, do it." I mean, we're not necessarily putting Fort Recovery on a pedestal, but <laughs> um, we we don't think that we're very far off from being right, there. You know, right. there's not a big separation between you know us, New Bremen, Fort Recovery. Um, I think our record against Fort Recovery last couple of years were 500. So, um, you know, we're right there with them, and it's just a matter of us staying healthy, you going to MAC play. I mean, when you have three teams from your league win state championships, you finish fourth in the league, but you still could pull off a state championship. That that says a lot about your league. So, um, you know, we may not have a strong record, but you, you very well might be, you know, the best one in nine team in the state. You mentioned depth. How are the numbers looking overall for Parkway right now? Uh, we're right now in the low 40s, but and we, we're about four deep at every position. Mm -hmm. So um, we feel pretty good, like I said, about that right now. We're four deep at every position. Um, we've got guys really challenge, challenging each other for starting reps. And, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty happy with where we're at. We always like to have a few more, but right now I, I feel comfortable with where we're at. You've been practicing for over a week. As you mentioned, you have a scrimmage in the book, so the pads are out. Have you seen some good progression in this first week and a half of, of the season? Oh, definitely. Um, saw a ton of good things last night from, you know, every quarterback I had in the game to the JV kids that were in. I mean, just saw a lot of lot of things that, you know, what we're necessarily expecting. And I told the kids last night, you know, the great thing about that, when, when kids are playing well, they're moving up the depth chart. The bad thing about that is somebody's moving down. So um, nobody's got a position, you know, set in stone. Uh, everything's up for grabs, and, you know, it's, it's a battle at practice. But we just need to make sure that when we walk off the field, you know, we're all Parkway Panthers. We're all, you know, one and we're family. 
We're going to hear from several members of your leadership council, like a lot of teams. Parkway's got uh, what, eight guys on your leadership council. Seven, seven guys yep. this year on the leadership council. What, <coughs> how do you, as a head coach, how do you rely on that leadership council? Obviously, that's kind of your, your conduit, if, we'll, if you will, to the players. Right. Our leadership councils consist of uh, four seniors, two juniors, and one sophomore. We feel that gives us a good representation. So what's the staff mm -hmm. like this year? Um, finally got a little bit of consistency with the staff. Uh, Jason Henline is uh, the new guy on staff, but mm -hmm. Jason coached with me my first two years here. So he had a two-year hiatus, and, and now he's back with the offensive line. Kevin Browning, uh, this is <clears throat> excuse me, Kevin's second year uh, with me, and Kevin is coaching defensive line. Uh, Caleb Rodriguez is coaching receivers, DBs. Caleb played for me my first year here, and now he's coaching with me. This is his second year. Uh, Luke Klaus is our defensive coordinator, also head baseball coach. Right. Uh, he's my defensive coordinator. And um, Andrew Peel is uh, also, this is Andrew's third year with me, and Andrew is coaching DBs and receivers as well. Taking a look at the schedule, open up against the, that traditional rival Crestview, mm -hmm. and then week two travel to Spencerville. So two teams that are coming off playoff appearances. I think that's probably a good way for you guys to get ready for the MAC because we know the MAC's going to be tough. Yeah, there's – my athletic director definitely did not do us any favors. <laughs> um, you know, we start off with our feet in the fire with, you know, two great teams, Spencerville and, and Crestview, and it just, you know, it gets tougher from there. So, but uh, we, if, you know, from our perspective, if we can start off, you know, two and zero, oh, then we know we're sitting in a pretty good position going into to MAC play. If we can beat two playoff caliber teams before we even get into league play. Crestview at home at Panther Stadium, a 7.30 start. Spencerville at Spencerville, so that's a 7 o'clock start. Rest of the max schedule, 7.30 beginnings. Start at home against St. Henry, then travel to Anna, Fort Recovery, Coldwater. There, you, you can't take a week off no, of the back. No weeks off at all. I mean, even, you know, even New Bremen, uh, their numbers are up this year, and, you know, nothing is, is a given in, in, in the MAC. All right, thank you very much, Dan Carnes, head coach for the Parkway Panthers. That St. Henry Parkway game will be on at WOSN. You can check that out later on this season. Need to take a break on the warm-up presented by Mercer Landmark. When we return, Andy Lynch will sit down with some of the members of that leadership council for more on Parkway here on WOSN. Welcome you back to Frickers for our Mercer Landmark warm-up. We are with the Parkway Panthers with three of the members of the Leadership Council. On the far end is Justin Barna, junior quarterback and safety. Next to me, Kevin Flogger, wide receiver and safety, a senior. And Sage Dugan in the middle, running back and linebacker. Justin, let's start with you. How do you feel like summer went for the team? And as you've gotten a couple weeks here into to camp, how are things going? Uh, I think it's going great. Uh, got a lot of young guys stepping into the things and the rotations, and uh, everybody's working hard and competing for a position. I mean, nobody has a position that's locked in yet, and everybody's competing even harder for their position, so I think that makes things a lot better. Sage, one of the guys in the backfield, uh, Coach said, we're going to rely on that run game. How do you yeah. feel you've progressed, and, and the line has progressed as well in the offseason? Uh, really good. The line's been doing great so far, and uh, like in our scrimmage last night, they blocked really well. And then our uh, like in practice, it's always a battle between the offensive and defensive line, so I think that really helps out a lot. And I think we should have a pretty good running game this year. I know Coach puts a lot of focus on the weightlifting. Yeah. Uh, Sydney's part of the, the powerlifting team at a team there. Uh, how have you seen the team grow through that weightlifting program? Oh, definitely a lot. Coach Henline's in there every day, pushing our linemen to lift more and more and every day, and uh, I think it's really paying off. Kevin, wide receiver and, and safety. What's the secondary look like? Uh, tall guy here, yourself, pretty good, uh, pretty good tandem. It's looking pretty good. Like our uh, our scrimmage last night, our our secondary is flying around. You know, we were getting to getting to the ball quick enough, and uh, you know, I'm pr I'm pretty satisfied we're, with where we're at right now. But there's always room for improvement. What did that feel like? Finally, getting a team that's not the Parkway Panthers, you able to line up against last night in Fairview. It, it felt good, but not playing against our own guys. and uh, <laughs> Same colors, though. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'm just ready for week one to come, and I'm just ready for Crestview. Crestview, that is the theme. Justin, you were part of our FCA Legends of Northwest Ohio camp. Mm. Uh, gave up a, a helping out a country concert to be a yeah. part of that. What was that like working with the little guys? Uh, it was awesome. Uh, great experience. Uh, many NFL players there, and just being around so many great, like, talented athletes and just growing – 
together with different people that you never even met before. It was great. No question. A good time for everyone involved in that. And Parkway looking for a great start to its season. They have a couple scrimmages left before they take on Crestview in that opener this year. Of course, it is in Rockford. When we return on this Mercer Landmark warm-up, we'll talk with three more members of the Leadership Council right here from Frickers on WSN. Back at Frickers for our Mercer Landmark warm-up with the Parkway Panthers. Big win against New Bremen to wrap up the season last year, week number nine. And kind of an offensive explosion. Alex Shane Levin, one of the wide receivers and defensive backs, 21 points per game those last four games. Do you feel like, you know, the offense was starting to come to its tone at the end of last season? Yeah, everything started to click. Uh, Barna started to pick up on the reads better, and the line held the blocks a little, just a little bit longer, and he was able to hit the receivers, and everything just opened up. Tell us about this receiving core. Coach said you, you go four deep at all the different positions, so it seems like a lot of good competition for each other. Yeah, we got a, a lot of guys on the receiving core this year. Uh, Kevin Fogger, he pretty much leads the core. Got another senior, Bailey. He's stepping up, making some plays. You know, we're pretty much set around the receivers. Great season for the baseball team as well. How much do you think that success could carry over to football? Uh, the winning attitude from the baseball team definitely carries over to the football team. You know, it just it just feels better when you're winning games. Hoping to win quite a few games this year. Crestview and Spencerville, two of the top few teams in the Northwest Conference are the first two non-conference games. Tanner Matthews, center for this team. Coach talked about that line being one of the strongest he remembers in his five or six years with Parkway. How do you see that team coming together? I, I see it coming together well. We've really pushed ourselves in this offseason. We've taken a few extra steps. Instead of having lineman challenges, that'll company seven-on-sevens. We do lineman camps in the mornings, and we push ourselves for two hours and keep working hard. Tell us about this leadership council. What's it mean to be a part of it for you? I think it's a big deal. We, we kind of are the head of the team. We, we kind of make decisions for everyone. Whenever we see something we don't like or we need to change, then we step in and we change it. Caleb Carlson, defensive end and tight end as well. Tell us about the, the front line on defense. How are you guys coming together? Uh, I feel pretty confident about the front line. Um, we're returning a few starters. Um, I think we'll be pretty solid this year on defense. Crestview will be with us here at our Frickers show coming up soon. You love the rivalry, don't you? Can't yeah. wait for that game. Cannot wait. You guys been talking about that forever, Tanner? Oh, yeah. we've. It's a it's a big game, probably one of our biggest games of the year. We look forward to it. We wear a card for it, and it's one we really want to win. We're certainly looking forward to that, and we are looking forward to the kickoff of the football season. We'll have four big games that first Friday night for you on the family of networks, and looking forward to all kinds of highlights on the sports report, of course, 10 o'clock. 10 Starting next week, we will be back Thursday through Saturday. I want to thank the Parkway Panthers for being a part of this Mercer Landmark warm-up show. For Mark Kuntz and all the guys, I'm Andy Lynch. We'll see you next time here from Frickers.